Blown in the wind. We did the deep dive on it. Um, now we're doing the lesson. Let's see uh, if we can get through it and not get copyrighted. Um, so Cape on 7. Don't know why some people say Cape on 5. It's just, it's just not. Cape on 7. And we're doing um, a lot of G's, a lot of C's, and some D's. The best part, or the most important part of learning this song is just hitting these bass notes. Um, so there's going to be a couple uh, slash chords here. Um, but we're just going to kind of walk through it slowly here. It starts on this G. Very simple strumming pattern. And then the first line is going to be G. C, and it's going to be this B over G kind of hybrid. So you have this pinky down on the third fret of the E string and just move your middle finger on the second fret of the A string. Make sure you hit that bass, what we're calling a B. And then that's going to shift. You can make a D shape, and then it's going to be A over D, and then just a regular D back up to the G because there's a lot of moving parts a lot of just walking up and down so again the first line is G C B over G A over D D to G again and it's fine on that B over G, you kind of see it. I was lazy and didn't get my pinky down. The most important part is just getting this. So you can keep that C shape. You see it? See the C? She's the see the C shape. All right. Uh, almost the same kind of chords in the second line here. It's just without the D, so it's just G. Here in the record, sometimes he likes to do um, hitting this open E and then hammering on. Uh, the third line is going to be the same as the first line, but the fourth line is going to be different. It's going to be the same walk down, but instead of going back to the G from the D, we're going to be staying on the D. So we'll talk about that. Here's the fourth line before she sleeps in the sand. Uh, it's going to be G. D and I'm gonna do an F sharp over a D so get that thumb over the top and the second fret of the E string and this could be alternating so it's gonna be D um, A over D then F sharp over D then A then F sharp again so here's the fourth line before she sleeps in the sand All going back to the G on the fifth line where he asks how many times must the cannonballs fly. That's gonna be the first, it's gonna be the same as the first, and then uh, the last line of the verse is gonna be the same as the second. I know kind of backtracking here and kind of sounding confusing, but all together we have very slowly, let's go through it. G C Not the bass notes. G, C, B, G. Hammer on if you want it. G, C, B, A, D, G. G, C, B, A, F sharp, A, F sharp, G. C, B, A, D, G. Remember that pattern because it's going to be the same uh, three times over. For the chorus, we're going to be playing it twice. And it's just very simple, kind of similar to what we're doing in the verses here. But it's going to start on the C. And we're going to be walking all the way down. So C, B over G, A over D, F sharp over D, G. 
and then C again. This time we're going to be going to a G over C, so just moving that uh, ring finger up to the third fret of the E string. And then back down to the C, B over G. There is the fun part. A over D, and then all on the sixth string, the fat E string. Open, two, three, going into a G chord. So all together, the chorus is. You play that twice. So, uh, should we go through the chorus a little bit slower? Yeah, sure. Uh, C, again, just calling out the bass notes here. C. B, A, F sharp, G, G, C, G, C, B, A, E, F sharp, G. Alright, hopefully that doesn't get copyrighted. If it did, I will do the whole lesson over again without the capo. That's it. Subscribe. Going for 4K. That's the goal for 2021. Um, so appreciate it if you do that.